live restream. We hope you guys have been enjoying yourself. Uh, we've been having a great time just watching these matches overall. It was 1,018 players overall, 128 yes. brackets down to the final two. Yes, we are very, very far away. Uh, I think both you and I would have loved to be in Tokyo eating this lovely ice cream and enjoying some Street Fighter, but from uh. the comfort of good old California, it's not so bad either. So we are watching the grand finals here. That lovely roar. That man's vocal cords deserve a raise. I don't know how much they're paying him. Double it, triple it. He's a monster, of course, and we got this match here that we're going to see. To be fair, it's kind of cheating because it doesn't even sound cool in English. Yeah, if I did that, I don't think it would be. It's like, let's get ready to rumble. There's only like one human that can do that, yep. right? And he's got to be a buffer. Yeah. Any of the buffer line. Well, speaking of which, we're going to see some buffers here from Mago with the standing medium punch, I think. That move is really good at intercepting uh, like any kind of whip punish with uh, standing fierce or something Ooh. like that, standing light kick. That was a standing fierce, but I'm going to follow through behind it. But either way, Momochi still has that V trigger. Way more threatening with the normals. Yeah, fishing with the Sand Fierce Muggle just out of range. Oh, connects with the Fierce. A lot of time to go into the Tenko. Good amount of damage. Yeah, keeps him down. the pressure. You notice that Mago again, we talked about it in the first set, taking the fight to Momochi. This is one of those matchups where if you give Momochi time and space, I think it's a bad move. You really have to crowd him and prevent him from just taking up all this screen space and whip punishing. That's when he gets too dangerous. Time and space, too very, very dangerous and fitting himself. Man. Don't give him any of that power. None of them. Don't get crush countered either. Standing fierce, crush counter. Oh, he oh, caught him! He didn't have critical back oh, the back dash. I can't believe it. He Don't press the button. It. He missed the parabellum. That was supposed to be it. And the the crush. roundhouse. He went into the crush countered roundhouse. Momochi had down jab, stand jab, EX hail instead of parabellum. He over buffered. It was like that guy in the crowd we saw earlier through Hadouken instead of Shoryuken. It's a miss. He tried to get the um, quarter circle forward and got the DP instead. Nice. Oh, weaving out of that range. One more for Dizzy. Went for the counter. I wonder if he thought he was going to shoulder. That was like the read from Emochi right there. But instead, the juggle. That was sick. He whipped he the crouching line kick for timing. Man, a perfect from Mago. September Mago in the building. I was a little worried because I was wondering what he was going to do after the Mujin was going to come out. And that was yeah. so smart of him to do it because mid-screen could be very tricky to continue that combo. Right. And he managed to seal the deal. Crouch short into the short Mujin. EX for sign off on mid-screen. Very, very tough to do convincing first game. You see the walk up early from Mago into the standing medium punch. He's trying to take up that range and yeah, I like the way he's playing this. Again, take the fight to Momochi. Don't give him the space to really, you know, play this ground game and whip on it. There's that interrupt button. We saw that last set as well. The back heavy kick from Colleen. Checking with the low forward again. Momochi trying to walk in and out of that range. Mujin might have been a... Probably standing heavy kick. Yeah. Or a crouching heavy kick. You just get it sometime on accident. Hit confirm. Beep. Out of the corner. 50 -50. side? Played nice it walk. safe. I think he was a little, there's a little delay there looking for uppercut maybe. Got him! Look at this Dizzy adding up. Colleen does so much stun. Oh, there he is. On the nice and easy crouch jab, keeping it safe. Yeah. He just walked back, he gave him time to uppercut, and then said, okay, he hasn't done it. Crouch jab. It was a really good, like, safe bit of pressure at the end of the round there from Momochi. No overcommitment. Dash up. Doesn't get the EX Parabellum, actually. Oh, no confirm off the low forward. You might have yeah. thought it was too far out. And I love that there was a whiff on the heavy kick, and Momochi walked in after Again. and did nothing. He was like, I'm going to walk up and just wait to see if you'll hit something. Clean fierce. Be skill whiff. Counter hit combo. He does, doesn't spend the EX gauge on the Parabellum. Yeah, the whiff punish. whiff punish stun is a factor. He gets hit by the first part of the EX Hailstorm. Got it's clips. all Mago now. I feel like Momochi wanted to swing because the stun gauge was so high. That was a good attempt to bait the throw. Momochi's out of there looking for the crouching medium kick. Activate! Oh, the slight delay to getting the counter hit sequence. Oh, back dash again. Getting out of the throw. Momochi with the activation. Yeah, looking for that crouching medium kick and he got him. Two bar kill should be one to Ooh. one as Momochi crosses him up with the skates. That was clean. I think he really kind of settled on the ground, you know? Although Mago was pressing a lot, he kind of did a good job of walking back and just biding his time. He didn't overcommit sure. on defense too much. I think he did a great job of really recomposing and just saying, okay, he wants to, you know, be the aggressor here. I'll let that happen and I'll take my opportunities when they come. The choices of making those back dashes in the corner was just such a, the, like, such a perfect time to do oh. so, right? Man, that whiff punish hurt my soul. It was so far away. Fishing with that oh. crouching medium kick, that's uh, plus one on block. Very, very good crouching medium kick. Back to back, back roundhouses. <laughs> yeah, he's slowing him down. That's a big stop sign button for this character. It has a lot of range. And if you're a Mago and you want to beat that, you have to walk up and stick out a big oh. button. And if you're doing that, then you know you can get whiff punished by the Fierce. That's the Momochi game plan we saw last time. 
No, I'm gonna get throw. Not much to fear if you're Momoshi, right? After that throw, it's gonna be just fine. No big threat coming from Mago or Karen in general after a throw like that. Walking Got the combo. Good conversion. Spends two bars. All right, not enough. Looks low. Mago Raw activates. Woo. And if you're Momochi, you can use that buff crouching jab right now, the crouching medium kick to try to play slow here. They're really good buttons. <gasps> Skates in and clips them out of nowhere from half screen away. That was the last bit of E-Trigger too. Caught him with the extended jab, continue the combo nice and easy. Look at that, back heavy back, kick, back heavy kick. Out. And then you see the walk oh. back. That was a good adjustment from Mago. Oh, he missed! Yeah, missed the combo. Mago made an adjustment. He knows that Momochi is using that back heavy kick as a bait. He wants him to try to walk in and hit a button so he can whiff punish it. And that's perfect. Mago, forward. this is, is a, still over. This set is a great example of footsies and like just how to play a neutral game against somebody like this. Where you see Momochi is trying to bait Mago into walking up. So what does Mago do? He walks even further in, right? He knows Ooh. that that's the option. Conversion off the low forward, punishing that sweep. Yeah, didn't spend any V-Trigger gauge either. Jumps out, in the front. Unfortunate. One more for Dizzy. Waiting for the, the uppercut. Way. And that should be it, actually. He's got some meter to spend. Big damage on the end of this from Momochi. trigger still active, and oh, look at that. The bodies. That where? was, where? where right there. It? it hit clean as ever, Momochi gets mean? it. <laughs> Although, you see the adjustments from yes. Mago too, right? Where. Momochi says, I'm gonna do this back heavy kick. I'm gonna swing with this big button so you'll walk up and whip when uh, you think I'm gonna do it next time and I'll whip on it. So then Mago says, okay, I'll walk up and instead of hitting the button here, I'll take a little extra step and hit crouching medium kick. That was starting to work out, but Momochi just matched the walk uh, forward with his walk back and is now you know, creating that extra little distance. So it's a dance between these two to see who can get into that optimal range. And I do like the idea of, of Mago kind of testing Momochi to see if he will commit to the buffered normal as well, right. just walking into that space, blocking the stand fierce, and you see yeah. Momochi fire away with the EX Parabellum a couple times. So Mago is adding these layers to his gameplay to try to break down the big force of Momochi. And Momochi just is riding this momentum right now and in great shape to take it all the way. It's so hard because if you try to adjust to his ground game, I feel like it's really difficult, you know, he is world class for a reason. Oh, I like the sweeps, right? That's another long low range threat, uh, low threat that he can use to kind of catch Momochi walking back. And again, winner side, wow, the parry. Winner side, we saw 3-1 in the favor of Momochi, and it yep, looks like, right. you know, we're marching towards that again. A little walk back, like beats the throw. Back throw. Got the, the sweeps. Sweep. I think at this point, you know, the sweep is a good threat to make Momochi fear walking backwards so mm -hmm. that you can walk up and really press these big mediums from Karen. Although Momochi hasn't been deterred so far, still walking back to try to create whiffs. Nice check on the follow through uh, command gap from Mago. Yeah, Ooh. counter hit, so he goes for that crouching heavy punch after. Walks in behind the hail, that reach, oh, man. No. Good adjustment. Mago's adjusting his uh, tool set and using this crouching heavy kick for an extra low threat so Momochi can't walk back and whiff punish. It's just a really good kind of back and forth adjustment on the ground about what buttons to use. Mm -hmm. These two are really educated in how to play ground game, and uh, you can see it here. Even though it's a slow match, there's a lot of adjustments happening back and forth. Mago's forced to halt because, okay, Momochi still had V-Trigger left, caught him with the low after the dash up, and now he's in his corner. Forward throw, one more throw is gonna do it. He's got EX Hail available, back heavy kick, nothing. He let him walk oh. up, and you notice Momochi low block too. He does not want to get hit, crouching medium kick. That's the end, oh. the overhead whip! No whiff punish, spend it! He got him! The Hang over in there. commitment. Mochi, Mochi jumped back and then went overhead right away. He was hoping that it'd be a dash up from Mago or that he'd react low block, but he was a little too far away. Great, great awareness from Mago. And even better reactions. Getting the stand face from so far. Yeah. Here's into that punish. long range command dash. We saw Momochi try to counter it earlier. It doesn't go for it this time. That sweep too. We're gonna have to see what Momochi has to deal with the sweep because that's really been a big part of the last game and a half here. Jump back in the corner. I've seen that a few times from Momochi as well. Background house activation route for Momochi. Does have full critical art as well. You can get caught standing even from this far away. Right? Wow. What a whiff punish. He used the buff jab in this uh, B trigger. That was really well done. Skates all the way in. I think maybe skated a little longer than he wanted to, but he got the corner position anyway. Got the hit again. Oh, combo and combo. Oh, Parabellum. Doesn't spend. Yeah, he got. The, he had a lot of scaling on that. Working on stun. Got him! Oh, missed the combo! He has vanity, but committed to nothing to try to bait Mago, and look at this, this is a huge lead from Momochi. 
Got some medium kick. The oh, back. And he heavy. thought it was safe to walk forward and try it, but no. This is Momochi using so much of that back roundhouse. Yeah, TGS point now for Momochi to get this super premiere. Oh my. Low four confirmed. Yeah. That's what we're talking about. The deep walk in. Nice and easy to B and B. One off for Dizzy. Moving. Back throw. Back kill. He knew it. Back dashes out of there. Gets the or excuse me activation of V trigger on his own. <gasps> no, the crush. That's huge. This is exactly what Momochi was looking for, and Mago Spend swung it, 50, into 50. it. 50-50. Waited for the uppercut. He didn't rise to the heavens. Staying grounded, Mago, with the composure here. 50% on the V-trigger for Momochi. He cannot eat another crush counter, though. Skates He's up. not moving. There's the activation for Mago. Out of the range for the throw. Back throw. It's a one-hit match. You know, Momochi's low enough now. The low-medium kick. Oh, the stand fierce. He got the anti-air. Back dash. Jumped again in the front. That block was insane. I cannot believe he was in the front. You have to watch the buffers from Momochi. Oh, he jumps again. He knows it. He knows that the anti airs aren't ready in the clutch here. The dash in. He dashed the, back the, the low. normal. It's too low. I can't believe there was nothing off the low. Yeah. Oh, we got him. Okay, okay, he's not dead. He got plenty of life. Spends two bars. Bring him to the corner. Double dash over. Apply the pressure even more. Hit a button after that standing medium cute. Uh, back vanity. One hit oh, kills. Jesus. You cannot die. You can't get hit either way now. This is a really scary spot for Mago. Don't get crush countered by the fears. <sighs> scary to hit that medium oh, kick. Oh! 14, 13 seconds. Time's running out. Looks for the low. 10 Momo, seconds. He's, he's at the deficit though. He's got to approach. Mago. <gasps> the vanity crush perfect. fierce. What an anti-air. What an answer. Four seconds left on the clock. The crush. The anti-air. Why did the crush Mago counter? Button, Momochi is your champion. Why did he? I can't believe it. He hit a button and Momochi, your Tokyo Game Show champion. The super premier winner as he stands up and hits the fist pump. He says, man, I'm good. And I cannot believe that with that lead and that much time on the clock, Mago hit but just shy from being a finalist at EVO, takes a long break, shows back up at the Asia premiere and takes it all the way through. Undefeated, what a run for Momochi. Steps back in front of this big old crowd here. Defiant, Momochi is...